Hi, I'm Morgan. Uh, I'm Morgan. Um, just a quick about me uh, before we dive into uh, what we're talking about. Um, I am a nerdy software engineer who has been writing uh, code for a long time. Uh, went to Harvey Mudd College to computer science, worked at Google as a software engineer, and then founded Token Transit, where I discovered that if you found a company, you are a uh, janitor, not an engineer. Um, but today's talk is about Token Transit. Um, but there is, that is a self-driving uh, power wheels, and uh, that's me actually having fun. Um, the rest of this talk is not that. OK, so what is token transit? It's a very simple premise. We are a digital wallet for transportation procured by city governments in order to create an open marketplace for city transportation countering the threat of an Uber or Lyft monopoly. So that, that OK, so a little complex. Um, so let's take a step back and talk more about what are we doing here. So what is token transit? We had a founding mission, which was build better transportation. Very simple, straightforward. But how? So we started thinking about what does transportation look like today? Today, you have venture capitalized subsidized utopia of private transportation. Uber and Lyft, it's fantastic. It's really cheap. It is completely not sustainable. That is what we have discovered. Um, what they're building towards and what you're going to see happen over time is that this beautiful utopia is going to kind of dive into a science fiction dystopia of private monopolies controlling the walled gardens of mobility. Um, that sounds really not great. So let's think about better tomorrow. What if we didn't let Uber and Lyft create a monopoly around transportation in a city? Um, so that's what Token Transit's trying to do. And let me walk you through how we're doing that. Um, so in 2015, we were cold calling public transit agencies. Uh, literally, there's about 600 that matter in the US. We called 300 of them. Uh, remarkably, many took our phone calls. Um, in 2016, we landed a deal with Reno, Nevada to uh, launch an app to pay for the bus. So we created the Token Transit app. You can go up to Reno, Nevada today um, and go and ride the bus using our app. Super fun. Um, 2017 was all about expanding that into more cities. We got Santa Monica, Lincoln, Nebraska, lots of fun cities that you like to go to. Um, and in 2018, we started expanding. We got to like 50 cities. We started doing employer benefits. We started working with social services and really seeing kind of where this went. And we started having a lot of conversations with a lot of cities and the scooters and bike share systems were out there doing their thing. And no one really knew what was gonna happen. No one knew what the future was. So 2019, we're up to 90 cities. And now we're talking about multimodal payments. And cities are starting to be at the center of these multimodal payments. And we're starting to build a lot of third-party APIs, which is super fun to me. So the real question is, what is token transit? We are a city-powered, open marketplace for transit. We're city-powered. We're procured by governments. We are not an independent product. We work with cities. And these cities use us to manage payment for transportation. We're an open marketplace. We work with any provider. We're not Lyft, we're not Uber. We work with any of them. We work with bike share companies, we work with public transportation, we work with the uh, ride share companies, um, anything out there for all transportation. So this is cities expanding the scope of who they are beyond just thinking about them managing the bus and giving them more levers to control their transportation with scooters, bike share, and ride share. So that's really cute. Um, how did we get from paying for the bus in Reno in 2016 to being this crazy marketplace, and why do we think that's going to work? Um, so here's how we built a marketplace. We're having conversations, and two interesting tr conversations outside of our government partnerships really kind of set the seeds for this. We were talking to Transloc, which is a uh, ride-sharing uh, service that was a, very similar to Chariot back in the day. Um, and they were actually having a lot of success setting up something that looked a lot like uh, Uberpool or Liftline in a lot of different cities, working with cities, and they had no idea how to do payments. They were like, we will give you all our payments. Please help us. And we were like, oh, we don't do that. We just do public transit. Wait. Uh, well, let's talk a bit more. Um, and then we were talking to Transit App, which makes the, uh, the most uh, prolific third-party uh, mapping application out there. You have Google Maps, you have Apple Maps, and then... Transit, but they're, they're number three, I swear. Um, and they want to do payments in Santa Monica, California. And we were like, well, we make our own app. That's the whole deal. But you know, let's talk. Let's keep talking. So we had to change our perspectives about what our product was. 
we were Token Transit, one app to pay for public transit. We had public transit riders on one side, that was one of our customers. We had local public transit agencies on the other side, and we sat in the middle. We knew who we were in 2018. In 2019, we had to realize, look, this all changes. Here's what we're doing. We're powering public transit agencies to sit between transit riders and all of the different services of public transportation. Public bus, ride share, bike share. Thank you, Emoji. You make my presentations easy. Um, and even more, it doesn't have to be going through the Token Transit app. It can also be going through all of the different apps. And this creates a very powerful system that puts the city at the center of how transportation works. So marketplace, aggregators, Transit app, Google Maps, Apple Maps, providers, public transit, ride share, bike share. And at the center, the city is providing these subsidies and regulatory access that's very important for a city to be controlling. We can't give that up to a private company. Um, and why was it possible to build this marketplace? Why do we have the leverage? We now have partnerships with Transat, we have partnerships with Google, we have partnerships with multiple bike share companies and 90 cities. Like what, what gave us that? And what we had to do is we had to provide value to everyone. So setting up a marketplace meant that we had to provide value to these aggregators because they were worried about the threat of Uber and Lyft and we were able to give them leverage against that. We needed to have those city partnerships and they needed those ac that access, and we had it. Um, and we're also able to give them a commission on every ticket sold. A lot of these companies just didn't have a business model. They had users that loved what they were doing and no ability to earn revenue. So we said, we do payments. We have money. We can give you some of it. Um, providers had a very similar kind of mirror image. They needed that regulatory access working with cities. Um, and they needed help with payments. That was actually kind of how we get back to why am I here and why am I FinTech. Um, the thing we figured out how to do was payments for cities, which is not simple. There's a lot of approvals and regulatory dealings we have to do. And you have to understand all of the credit card processing and bank accounts and everything like that. So we actually have that expertise. And that's something that the providers didn't have access to, especially when they were working with cities. Um, and they also really liked that we had these aggregators on the other side. They would love to have their services visible in Google Maps, Apple Maps, Transit app. But there was always a lot of tension between the two of them. So we were able to kind of sit in the middle and say, look, the cities are going to resolve the tension. We're just going to facilitate it. So we built trust um, with our cities. We started working on this very simple, very silly little pain for public transit app in Reno. But what that gave us was trust of cities, which then allowed us to work with the aggregators and providers and build this marketplace. Um, so starting with those bus payments was important, while maybe a little off course for where we ended up. Um, and yeah, so that was, that was really important. Um, so the next steps about what we're building is we now have pieces of this launched all across the country. In Santa Monica, you can pay with token transit inside the transit app app, their app is strangely named, um, <laughs> that launched earlier this week. It's really awesome. People are really excited about it. Um, you can also do ride share with Transloc in Bakersfield, California, as well as three other cities across the, uh, the country. Um, and as I said, we're doing payments in 90 cities. Now, the next step for where we take this is Kansas City has signed on and has procured the full system where we own transportation in Kansas City. So we are the one provider of payment for transportation in Kansas City. They are providing the regulatory control of saying, if you do payments, you need to go work with Token Transit to integrate into this digital wallet. And then they're signed on to provide subsidies for people that are part of that service, just like you're getting subsidies for the bus right now as a senior or an, a student. Those now spread across the full range of transportation services. So that's, uh, that's Token Transit and why we're uh, a little bit FinTech. Um, so after that, just to, to kind of go through the, the last little bits here, um, what we're working on next is really getting into uh, deeper integration with the different platforms. So this product belongs in uh, Apple Wallet with the, the Apple Pay products and Google Pay. We have those integrations and we're working on kind of the next generation of standardization so that really like, appears like a great deep uh, integration. We're also working with the, uh, the bike share companies to create a standardized API so those can appear to be, those can be unlocked in any app 
um, which is, you know, they're all kind of, they require their own apps today, and we're going to break that open and create a standard API for that. Um, and as I was talking about Kansas City, we're going to get multimodal city passes where you pay for a month of transportation that isn't just the bus. It's all transportation in a city. And we're definitely not crushing Uber and Lyft, but we're building a better world. Um, so that's, uh, that's Token Transit. Thanks. And um, I'm supposed to say we're hiring. So come talk to me if that sounds interesting at all.